Glory be to God. Welcome to D. Weaver Art here on YouTube. I give glory and praise to God that you choose to watch this channel. Today I'd like to share with you a portrait painting done in time lapse of a fellow artist by the name of Eddie Filler Jr. Now, if you're new to the D. Weaver Art Channel, I urge you to subscribe. Also, don't forget to hit the notification bell in which you will receive instant alerts on new content and material. Now, with that being said, please watch and enjoy this video. you for joining me here on YouTube um, I have right where you see now is my color palette my colors are for thalo cyanine blue uh, cadmium red yellow ochre and titanium white these are my base colors in which I will mix up my skin tones for my painting here hello everyone welcome to my YouTube channel D Weaver art I am uh, doing a portrait painting of Eddie Filler Jr., an uh, artist who is down in uh, Texas. He uh, works in um, oil paint, and he is a phenomenal portrait artist. He is taught in schools, and also he does uh, uh, workshops. So as you can see, I am using a large flat brush to get in all the major shapes, the darks first, working from the dark uh, values to the mid values, um, basically get them down with quick brush strokes. Nothing to be um, pretty about this at this stage, just, just blocking in all and covering up all the uh, white of the canvas pretty much so far. Um, the colors, that I used for this block in is um, yellow ochre and some burnt sienna and um, later as you're about to see I switched over to a smaller brush I'm still using a, a larger brush but later I will swap over to a, a large excuse me a smaller brush and get in more and refine more of the uh, the features and the uh, shapes. I was really uh, impressed by the outcome uh, of this uh, painting. Still using a large brush at this point and just loading up the brush from the tip of the brush and just putting that paint on. Not worried about blending at this moment, just loading the paint up and then adding more paint to the canvas. Now I switched over to a smaller uh, flat brush, I think a number four flat brush. And um, I've also lightened up some a, a touch on the values and just constantly not building features up at this point, but just over, just painting over some areas, smoothing, blending in a little bit, a little bit more and uh, building the paint up at the base for the uh, painting. Still adding some uh, paint to it using that number four uh, flat brush. Turn the brush at this point, I turn it to the side and then just putting down some lighter uh, value. And once again, still just taking paint, loading it, and with one brush stroke, putting the brush stroke down and going to another area of the paint of the painting. Um, a lot of artists sometimes paint from eyes all the way out. I don't do that as well as I don't do that when I draw. I actually uh, like to work all over. I go multiple places, kind of simultaneously painting and covering the whole uh, area of the uh, of the uh, artwork. 
Now, artists are different. Everybody's not the same, but that's my mode of operation. Working at the eyes, putting down the brush stroke still, just a quick brush stroke, not trying to get um, uh, refining the, the transition of values, just laying the brush down, uh, the paint down, and moving forward. I really enjoyed the process of this painting. This is a, a, a process is in some way, maybe the third, second time I've done it where I just lay the paint down. Of course, I have a drawing of some sort, whether done in colored pencil or charcoal or um, uh, paint, painted out. But uh, this, is, this is painted out, but then after that, I just started using a, a larger brush and um, just kept looking at my subject matter with a picture or a photo of him, digital, that is. Um, I usually take my subjects and put them on my uh, laptop and uh, project them by mirroring, mirroring using a mirror uh, technique to take my subject from my laptop to a, a larger monitor. So... Now I'm just continue to build the paint up as, as I continue to progress and putting down, um, refining it a little bit of the areas at this point, you're starting to see um, the development of the character of the person's personality. Um, still uh, building over the dark with lighter values, working more with the eye socket and getting more details around the eyes. Um, using that um, number uh, four flat brush. I always work with acrylic. Some people who don't know me may be looking at this and thinking that, uh, boy, that sure looks like uh, oil paint, but uh, it's a it's a acrylic that I use, and I use a slow-dry medium to, or slow-dry uh, gel or paste light to keep it from drying out quickly. Now I'm starting to put in more concentrated color uh, and by concentrate, what I mean is more pure color, but this is more uh, of his beard and mustache, uh, light value, a very lighter value, because he has a salt and pepper uh, mustache and beard and his hair. So as you can see, I'm just putting his, uh, the whites of his eyes into the dark areas. And now you see his, his iris come out, I, I come out of that. You see his brow line, and now I'm working with his teeth using that number four um, flat brush. I really was really pleased with this, uh, the outcome of this painting really came out really well. Um, I really am looking forward to doing some more of these paintings of uh, portrait paintings. Now, up until this point of me doing a portrait painting of Eddie, Eddie Filler Jr., I have been doing a lot of drawing portraits and uh, not as much plein air painting. But back to the studio, uh, adding in more of the darker uh, um, values that is in his hair and his beard. Now, switched over to a, I believe, a number two liner brush or a number two round brush.
Thank you for watching the video. I hope you got something good out of it. Let me know what you think by leaving a comment. Also, don't forget to hit the like button. You can follow me on Instagram and Facebook at the letter D Weaver Art. Thank you so much. God bless you. See you next time.